everyone. Today we're going to look at the Click PLC High Speed Counter Input Frequency Measurement and High Speed Count Mode. And if we look, we're going to be connecting our Dart uh, Magnetic Pickup, it gives us 10 pulses per rev, into um, our Click PLC. And this is the wiring diagram for it. It can be wired up either syncing or sourcing. So that means my common of my PLC is either sitting at 0 volts or plus uh, 24, depending on how my existing wiring is. So that's why the beauty of this uh, uh, magnetic pickup, um, it's very universal on the output side. So in our particular case, what we're going to do is we're going to do a couple of functions. We're going to do the, um, the frequency measurement as well as the high speed count on the same units. So what we're doing is we're going to um, connect that same input to two inputs, two different inputs of my PLC. So common in our case will sit at plus 24. Then the first signal here, X1, will, will be used for my frequency signal and X2 will be used for my count signal. And all I'm doing is I'm putting a jumper between X1 and X2. So and my signal output will be my white wire of my dart. My power wire is connected to the 24 volt, which is my red wire of my dart, and my black wire of my dart will go to the zero volt. So if we look at the program, we're gonna use the existing program from our uh, frequency mode, and we'll just call up our uh, high speed input configuration. And you can see here that we have our frequency pulse coming in and uh, on X1. So if we hit edit, you can see that what we're doing is we are uh, calculating every minute the RPM and the number of pulses per rev. Revolution we have is 10. So it does a little bit of math and we, here is our single input X1. So everything's good there. Now what we want to do is we want to add our high speed count. So we use this mode. Here we go. And again, we'll leave everything the same. Our current uh, value, we're going to set to DD2 because our one is set for frequency. So we hit OK. Now we'll hit our uh, an up count and our up count will come on now because X1 is used, we'll use X2 and we'll just hit OK. Now everything looks good. We'll look at, we'll hit our use preset and our preset, it'll allow us to actually count up and trigger outputs independent of our ladder logic at all. It immediately will drive those outputs. So we're going to use presets. We're going to um, Control discrete outputs uh, used in the built-in CPU. And starting address, we'll make this uh, DD10. And number of presets, we'll put in three presets. And we're going to reset after the last one. And what we'll do is because we have Y1 signaling our motor has stopped from our frequency then we'll use Y2, 3 and 4 and what we'll do is set our de default here of 10 pulses in 12 and DD12, DD13 we'll set to 100 and DD14 we'll set to 200. You can see as I do this my uh, graph of what's actually happening um, will actually trigger there. So we'll turn on output two when we, after we reset, and before we get the 10, then between 10 and 100, we'll turn on output three, and then we'll turn on output four from 100 to 200, then we reset back and go back to zero again. So that's how our presets work. Everything looks good, so, and we have no red check marks, so everything's uh, well there, so we'll hit okay and we'll hit OK there and now you can see that I had up multiple uh, things happening on my high-speed counter input configuration so we can hit OK there and once again we have uh, 
the frequency up here so if it's equal to zero our my output turns on so we'll save that program and now what we'll do is we will transfer this over to my uh, click PLC and we will proceed with a uh, runtime edit so that's my program if I look at the actual hardware itself we will see that uh, we are uh, connected this to the Ethernet through my Ethernet port on my click and then we have um, the wiring diagram here so again we have our white uh, wire is my signal wire going into X1 then I have X1 and X2 jumpered the common of that input is actually plus 24 volt which also goes to my red wire of my dart pickup and then my black wire my dart will go to zero volt and this is my dart pickup with my drill that will actually provide my pulses for me. And since I turn on the, the, the um, drill, you'll see that both input X1 and 2 will trigger at the same time. So let's just call up my data view and my uh, measurements here. And let's just start um, this drill and you can see how it pulses and you see my outputs changing so when I get to 100 and we keep going it resets back so you can see I'm actually firing my inputs I look at my frequency at the same time so I can do multiple functions with this high speed counter input. And you can see that the setup is quite simple and straightforward. Now if you enjoy this video, please hit the like button below. If you have any questions about this video, please leave a comment below and I'll do my best to answer it. If you want more information about us or you want to get our free ebooks on numbering systems or robust data logging, please click on the link in the description below to get it. A new video is put out every Monday, so make sure you hit the subscribe button so you get more videos like this in the future. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.